name is Cal, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Lonely Boy by the Black Keys. Uh, it's a pretty simple song, a couple parts to it. It does use a whammy pedal, um, that's how you get that, that sort of dive sound. Um, so if you don't have one of those, I'll be showing you another way to do that, but um, if you do have one of those, that's great. <laughs> so the riff starts out uh, with that real crunchy distorted sound. It's basically just open E uh, four times, and then third fret and the low E, half bend. And a half bend uh, is basically just you're bending up a half step instead of a full step. So you're going like for that note. time and then you either hit the octave down on the pedal or if you don't have it you slide up to the 12th fret on the low E which is an octave above. Uh, obviously you can't do an octave below um, in this key but the entire uh, opening part, then you have the second uh, intro riff, very uh, black keys style. Um, so that starts on the uh, fifth fret B string, twice, third fret on the B, back up to the fifth, back down to the third. So. for the second half, open, second fret, open, second fret on the D, open D, and then back again, so real slowly that whole section. during the verse, which is actually kind of Jack White uh, sounding, uh, what is it, Ball and Biscuit? But anyway, uh, the Lonely Boy goes... Um, which is 3rd fret... B and E string at the same time, so both at the same time, open. Um, so it's, sorry. You don't actually have to hold the E um, while you hit this. I just find that it helps to mute some of the other strings if you accidentally hit them, because you really just want to hit and then mute those with your palm or with uh, your other fingers over here. So by mute, I just mean when you want them to stop ringing, you just hit your fingers, just rest them lightly on the strings to stop it from ringing. Um, and that's how you get the real sort of chugging along uh, sound. So. goes to a G. In this case, you can just do a power chord on the 3rd fret low E string. And then to an A, which is power chord on the 5th fret low E string. And then back into it. Um, 
then the other part is basically the same exact thing, E, G, and A, um, except for now he's just sort of strumming the full chords uh, multiple times. So it's... Keys, very similar to um, Tighten Up. It's almost the exact same riff, honestly. Uh, so if you guys want to watch that video, that'll be on screen somewhere now as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave any songs you want me to do down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>